This is Hara One by Yasha Allah for the Lions Den Camp. <clears throat> when I say Ka Halayim, Le Yahawah, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakar Kodash, my mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwati, my children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. This is a quick uh, break time lesson. Um, just went through, you know, scripture of the day is uh, Philippians 2 and 3. <clears throat> it's going to be quick. All right, Philippians 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, man. All right, you got a lot of cats out there seeking vain glory, you know, seeking a name for themselves, seeking a position, you know, seeking uh, seeking to stroke their ego in this truth. They create these characters, <clears throat> they, they start to go and attack, and make it their agenda, like the guy at war out there called the Mississippi Maniac. To go and attack the elders, you know, make it their mission instead of just prophesying and trusting that the Lord will fight his battle. That's how you know people, who, some of these cats don't have faith, man. All right. By well, using him for example. But then you, um, it says what? Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, man. And strife is basically uh, physical violence. You know, you got some camps out there that believe. Uh, and guns, you know, at, at camp. And and the Lord said, "What we supposed to be sent out there as sheep amongst wolves, harmless as doves, presenting our body as a living sacrifice, going out there to teach, all right, putting our life on the line for this truth, bearing His weapon." The Lord said, "The weapons of our warfare are not carnal." Now, if you have something to protect your household, that's something different, or your person, you know. But when we out there teaching, you're not supposed to have. Uh, weapons, man. You know, you can have something to, to back off a crowd if you need to. You know, like normal. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to keep going. It says, let nothing be done through strife, right? When you're dealing with your brethren. The scriptures even say, don't be a lion in your own household. Right? And it's smart for us to not <clears throat> to not physically fight these jakes and these uh, heathens out here, man. Because it would be a trap for us. And it's better for us to stay occupied in the prophecies. Um, the strongest person is in the fight is the one that walks away. Or fights a battle intellectually, professionally, or spiritually. But you got to learn how to defend yourself physically as well. Alright, but let that be the last choice. It says what? But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other the other better than themselves and that's what amongst your brethren you know the old saying uh, treat treat the person like you want to be treated you know or even better because some people don't treat themselves correctly either you know some people don't love themselves so they don't know how to love others so let me get this real quick this is um <clears throat> romans 12 and uh 14 it says, bless them that persecute you, man. Bless and curse not. All right? Because uh, by doing so, you heap coals of fire upon their head, man, leaving the judgment up to the Lord. You know? Because some people will want so something to bad something bad to happen to someone so intently, and you know, that the Lord will be like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Because, <laughs> you, you know, the Most High is the judge. All right, rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. All right, be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, man. Don't be trying to uh, seek these high positions and boasting of themselves. Right? People calling themselves gorilla or high chief and all this madness, high priest. It says, uh, be of the same mind, one toward another, mind not high things, all right? But condescend to men of low estate, man. That's what the Lord is looking for, humble men that's not uh, boasting of their riches and their money, that's not trying to make filthy lucre of this of this work and the, and the, uh, the Lord's people. It says what? 
be not wise in your own conceits, man. And a lot of these cats was wise in their own conceits. It, it goes into their damn ego. Stuck in their own way. Recompense to no man evil for evil, man. You know, so it's smarter uh, to take the peaceful route. You know, so you can continue to do the Lord's work and fight for the kingdom. Instead of kicking somebody ass and, and uh, or going to war with your brother or even your woman, you know. It's better to render no, to no person evil for evil because then you become reenacting that evil. All right. So provide things honest in the sight of all men and always just be honest, man. You know, and that's just it. Provide things honest. What's that? Mainly the truth. And be, and be honest. In this camp, we believe in transparency. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. So if you ain't got no choice and you got to defend yourself, then that's just it, you know. But as much as lie in you and you're patient, and just try to be at peace out here, man, you know, and uh, try not to be violent. Have the nonviolent approach. <laughs> Become an intellectual in this truth. All right, the journeyman, the desert person. The light in the room, the light in the building. All right, the stressed out hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to his people. Understanding that um, we have to understand that what the Lord was, was trying to show us when he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Because in the kingdom, the Lord going to make them perfect. All right, so, you know, and I'm understanding this myself at this moment. Like, who are we to be out here ready to go, uh, go the violent route when the Lord said <clears throat> the weapons of our warfare are not carnal? We know judgment day is coming. All right, and it said obey the laws of the land. So you use the law, and that's just it. So uh, let me get one more precept. All right, right here, verse nine. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give peace, give place unto wrath, man. For it is written, vengeance is mine; I will repay, say if Yahweh. So we got to trust that the Lord is going to judge. All right, <clears throat> this is James 1 and 20. Uh, it says here, For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh. See that? So our wrath is not doing the work of the Lord. You see? And we seek to destroy something. But the Lord said, what? He kills and he makes alive. So who are we? We got to really understand that. You know, as we, as we move forward through the valley of the shadow of death, the Lord said, what? We should fear no evil. All right, <clears throat> and trust in the Lord, and just be smart, and what moves you make, and what attention you draw to yourself. So, hey man, I hope this is encouraging to anybody out there that's ready to probably kick somebody ass or something. <laughs> you know, hope, hopefully this gets you to take a couple steps back and think about what the Lord wants you to do, and follow not thy own heart. You know, and uh, the scriptures say this word will be a light to our path, and that's what we got to do: is uh, sh shed the light for each other. <clears throat> You know, so uh, we don't stumble and fall. All right, shalom.